Lee Krasner. She was born on October 27, 1908. Uh, she's an American abstract expressionist, uh, mastered in painting and collage. She even worked in the manner of uh, expressionism because she would get very much into her renderings and her drawings and create these shapes and then she would destroy them and cut them up and then recollage them so you really see the movement in her in her works uh, she was particularly influenced when the museum of modern art opened in 1929 uh, that had a profound effect on her aesthetic and in her artwork also meeting jackson pollock and then marrying him they formed this relationship that really kind of uh, cross-pollinated a little bit it did for sure and you know i kind of um you don't want to mention him because you want lee krasner to stand on her own that's which exactly... she totally does but people do influence each other and there is some influence of him into her and her into him as well. Well, yeah, sure. And I understand that. But I feel like, you know, Krasner deserves a place in the canon of art history that is, you know, in its own slot. Right. Because, yeah. it, you know, and, and of course, we're going to mention Pollock in this one. Yeah. Right. But I feel like it would be, you know, I think doing Krasner the right service hmm. by doing a video on her that doesn't mention Pollock. But that was such a big part of her life and a big part of who she is. And even now when you look at it, it's the Paula Krasner Foundation. It's the Paula Krasner Grants. I see them together. They're buried close together. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's that's not a bad thing. And I often look at Jax, Jackson Pollock. I don't see him without Lee Krasner. So I have Jackson a, Pollock wouldn't have existed without Lee Krasner. He wouldn't have existed without because Lee Krasner. Because she was the one force. She was the one supportive driving force that made his yeah. career. She believed in him yeah. and pushed him forward. Um, she focused on several series throughout her lifetime. She had the little images. That was roughly three years, 46 to 49. She went through her early collage phase. And then right around the time that uh, Pollock died, she went into another, uh, several other series. Sometimes they were related to his death or elements of expressing herself after his death. There was the early Green series, 56 through 59, followed by the Umber series. So his his death profoundly affected her and her artwork. Yeah, and you can kind of see her moving through areas, I feel, that, you know, sort of, you know, if you think about the conversations that Krasner was present for when Clement Greenberg was critiquing Jackson's art. Mm-hmm about this sort of um, it being about the material and this reduction and getting out of imagery um, you can see her struggling with that mm. right and you can kind of see her sort of perpetuating that as well which is fine because we're making a march towards minimalism at this point after you know uh, abstract expressionism and so she kind of seems to be following that and had been heavily influenced by that language mm -hmm. but you know if you also look at her work every once in a while you see some things creeping in that are outside of that realm mm -hmm. this piece is not necessarily an example of that but um i, I like to look at the ways in which krasner uh developed her own voice mm -hmm. outside of what you know she was influenced by and i feel like some of these pieces are really really powerful and beautiful things. I think so too. All so, right. Lee Krasner, October 27th, 1908. Mm -hmm.